Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the dividend yield. What is the dividend yield? This is a ratio that shows the dividend that is paid to shareholders relative to its market price. By market price, we mean the current trading price of the share. So in other words, it shows the percentage of the market price of the share that shareholders are getting back in the form of dividends. The dividends yield also shows prospective shareholders how many percent they can expect as a dividend if they invest in the stock of the company. So in this lesson, we're going to be looking at an example of how to do the calculation for the dividend yield. So what is the dividend yield formula? Well, the dividend yield is the dividend per share divided by the market price per share. So it's the dividend per share, which is calculated by taking the number of the, the amount of dividends which is paid out divided by the number of shares you have in issue and then divide that answer by the market price per share so the market price per share you will usually be given in your question you'll be told that this is the market price or this is the current trading price per share but the dividend per share you may have to calculate it and you'll usually have to calculate it so let's look at the dividend per share what is the dividend per share well, this indicates the amount of dividend attributable to each share. From the investor's point of view, the higher this ratio is, the better, because the dividend per share will be greater. So the dividend per share, it indicates the amount of dividend attributable to each share. So remember, when a company has shares in issue, it has a number of shares in issue. It could have 500,000, it could have a million, it could have 200,000 in issue. And when the company pays out dividends, it shows the value, the rent amount of the dividend, let's say 300,000 rand, for instance. So if you want to know how much is the dividend for each share that they have in issue, well, that is what the dividend per share shows you. It shows you the dividend for each share that is in issue. And what is the formula for the dividend per share? Well, the dividend per share, you take the dividends, which is the value, the rent amount, which is being paid out to shareholders. So they'll give you the total amount, divide by the number of shares in issue. So you take the dividends which is paid out by the company, divide by the number of shares that the company has in issue. So let's look at this example, which will help you understand how to calculate the dividend yield and as a result, the dividend per share. Here's an example. We're told that Ego Capital has the following in its capital structure. 800,000 two rand ordinary shares now trading at two rand 50 per share so in your question you obviously have to pay careful attention to the details that you are given we're also told that the company issued 320,000 rand as a dividend at the end of the financial year so we are given the amount that the company paid out as dividends to its shareholder and you know what dividend is dividend is what the company gives to its shareholders from the profits that it has made for the period so it's the return to shareholders from the profits that the company has made so the requirement here is to calculate the dividend yield for the company we have to calculate the dividend yield for the company do you remember the formula for the dividend yield it, the dividend yield is the dividend per share divided by the market price per share now question what is the market price per share here we are told 800,000 two rand ordinary shares now trading at two rand fifty per share so the market price per share is the price that the share is currently trading at and we are told it's currently trading at 250 per share so we already have the market price per share now we don't have the dividend per share now we have to calculate the dividend per share here now what is the dividend per share well if you remember the formula i mentioned earlier the dividend per share is the dividends that the company paid out divided by the number of shares in issue the dividend that the company paid out divided by the number of shares it has in issue well we know how much dividends the company paid out we are told that the company issued 320,000 rand as a dividend so our numerator will be 320,000 rand and we divide that by the number of shares the company has in issue and how many shares does the company have in issue well we are told 800,000 to run ordinary shares so it's 800,000 shares that the company has in issue now you have to be careful if you are given the statement of financial position and you're not specific specifically told how many shares and you are given the statement of financial position under the equity section you're given uh, ordinary shares and then you are given the rent amount you have to be careful if you're given the rent amount you take that rent amount and divide that by how much the book value of the share is so you'll be told 
two rand share capital or two rand ordinary shares yes you'll be told two rand ordinary shares and in the statement of financial position you're told you're given the rand value so you take that rand value divide by how much it, it was bought for or how much the company sold it for and then you will get the number of shares in issue so the dividend per share is the dividends divided by the number of shares in issue and we know what they are the dividends is 320,000 rand the shares in issue is 800,000 rand so we take 320,000 rand divide by the 800,000 rand to get 40 cents per share or 0 0.4 rand per share so that is the dividend for each share that the company has in issue which was paid out by the company now that we have the dividend per share and we have the market price per share of 2 rand 50 we can get our dividend yield so what is our dividend yield our dividend yield is 40 cents which was the dividend per share divide by the market price per share which is the 2 rand 50 and it gives us 16 percent so what does this mean it means that of the current market price per share that the company has or of the market price of the stock that the company has it pays out 16 percent as a dividend so for me who wants to invest in this company i can see that i will i, I can expect a return of 16 percent based on the current market price of the company i hope this has made sense and you have understood what the dividend yield is and also what the dividend per share is if you have any questions or queries please leave them in the comment section below otherwise if you have gained value from this lesson please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those who you think it may help till next time cheers